Let's talk about voltage drop. Voltage drop is the gradual reduction of voltage along a conductor that has inherent impedance in an AC circuit or resistance in a DC circuit. So if you think about really long parallel circuits, you have to take that impedance or that resistance into account because the voltage is actually going to gradually reduce along its length. So consider large parking lots or street lighting or ballparks. These voltage losses or this voltage drop is going to result in those lights that are really far away to be dimmer than the ones that are at the front of that parking lot. So when you design these circuits, you need to calculate in uh, the necessary voltage drop and make sure that it's not too significant. We have to make sure that you're left with enough power to drive the final load and all of it. The definition of voltage drop is the gradual reduction in, in voltage along a passive wire that has inherent impedance or resistance. It happens when only when the current is flowing in the circuit. But this could be troublesome because as an illustration, 120 volts that feeds a 30 meter circuit uh, could have a voltage drop, uh, making the voltage uh, at the receptacle to be as low as 116 volts. That would be uh, that's a, a four um, volt drop over from a 120 volt panel. And so that's, a, that's about a 3.3% drop in voltage. And that's not even if there's any other loads in the, in the uh, circuit. And this will become even worse as you connect more loads to the circuit. So why is this a problem? Voltage drop is a problem for a lot of reasons. So as, as the voltage drops, that means that uh, the, there, there's less voltage and the current is going to increase. If it, if it drops too much, there's going to be problems with appliances uh, because of their motors. They're going to start, not start up or they're going to have inter, intermittent operation. Uh, if, if voltage levels um, drop, for example, near 110 volts, the appliances that require a high inrush of current levels may not start up because their voltage is below their minimum operating level. Sometimes when appliances do start up and there's a voltage drop issue, they will shut down during operation because they have uh, a, a way of detecting that there's this voltage drop So in, and then the, the appliance shuts off. Uh, this causes issues that are hard to diagnose and uh, it even could be uh, apparent in inconsistent lighting levels. Uh, for example, with the long street lights where up to a 5% drop in voltage can occur and that's actually perceptible to, to, the, to the human eye. And of course, when that voltage is dropping, the current needs to increase in order to reach its desired power level for some of these loads. So if multiple loads are all increasing their current consumption, then you have an overloaded circuit and um, tripping breakers. Also, if you have some resistive loads, so for example, um, some uh, you know uh, electric heating, et cetera, and uh, ballast, as they're pulling that uh, that more current, uh, they are they're going to overheat and and cause cause some problems to their overall life when they're overheated. So we do not want voltage drop to happen, and it is something that we want to avoid. So we have to make sure that we do our calculations uh, properly. So in the next video, we will look at some the voltage drop calculations as they pertain to uh, Section Eight, Rule One Hundred Two of the Canadian Electrical Code.